Having the combination of a little throttle when I need it works so perfect. This bike right here is Bandit Bikes all around kind of urban, off-road, on-road type e-bike. So I have been riding this bike. I probably put about 200 miles on it. So what I'm gonna do in this video is I'm gonna start back here at the back and just kind of do a walkthrough of all the components. And then after that, I'll go to a speed test and kind of show you the speed test. And then after that, I'll do a final thought. So I will leave chapters below. So if you wanna to skip to any of those points in the video, you can do that at any time. When I got this in, it was extremely well packed. Package. It took me maybe 30 minutes to set this up. I was on the road in like 45 minutes because the battery had a half charge on it and I just couldn't wait to ride it. All I had to do was put on the front tire and a few other assemblies and I was good to go. Another cool feature is they give you a nice little tool kit and check it out. They actually labeled it tool kit so you'll know and keep this with you at all times because it fits like 99% of the nuts and bolts on this bike. So I always like to have a tool kit with me. So first off, let's start with the specs on this bike. The top Top speed on this is 28 miles per hour, which gives it a class three rating. And throttle only has been 20 miles per hour. It's a 750 watt hub drive motor, and it produces 75 Newton meters of torque. Very powerful motor, been extremely impressed with that motor. The controller on it's a 48 volt, 750 watt, 18 amp controller, and the controller is located in here. So it goes from zero to six on its pedal assist. And the battery on this is a 48 volt, 14.5 amp hour battery, and it comes out at 696 watts claimed range by bandit bikes is 60 plus miles using pedal assist and 50 miles using throttle only i did test this thing out and i did a long range test on it that's fairly close to what you get which is kind of crazy on the size of this battery how they've maximized that energy with this amount of power integrated the battery into the frame i always like seeing this has a lot cleaner look and it is a removable battery if you want to take it off you'd basically turn that key this pops off and it comes out and that's how you take the battery off to charge it there's a charge port right here and what's cool is over here on this side you get a usb charger to charge your cell phone or whatever. The tires on this thing is Kenda 26 by four inch fat tires and they have a reflective stripe built into the side. That is really awesome that they've done that. These things feel like a tank, like they'll go through anything. After using 26 inch by four fat tires, I never wanna go back to the 20 inch because I like these that much. It's 180 millimeter rotors with hydraulic disc brakes. Very impressive, these brakes were awesome. After using these brakes, I never wanna go back to mechanical brakes either. That's the problem with this forerunner i get spoiled then i go back to my other bikes with mechanical disc brakes they feel smushy these things are very responsive you can do just one finger pulls and they're very smooth on their pulls and one thing when i look at an e-bike is look at these connectors these actually screw they're all waterproof connectors rear fender here it does have a brake light on it it's mounted low so it is very visible and it is an actual tail light and brake light when you match the brakes it gets brighter derailer on this is a shimano altos which is a good mid-grade derailer and the free wheel in the back is an 11 to 32 tooth it's 42 tooth in the front with 170 millimeter crank arms here and one thing is look at my pedals i've hit these pedals down on there a lot which brings me to the pedals because these are metal they are not plastic if these would have been plastic i'd probably shatter them because i hit my pedals a lot and that's more rider era than the actual bike itself that's not on the bike but i did add that but other than that i haven't added anything to this bike because it come pretty much perfect i've rode this thing for hours upon hours and no complaints on the seat it seemed to work just fine very cushiony right here very easily to adjust with that like locking mechanism so let's take those out because you will not need them which is kind of cool because you want to see what actually starts this thing all right moving up here to the front it's a 180 millimeter rotor in the front with a hydraulic disc brakes once again it has the quick removable front tire added to the front with the kenda 26 by 4 inch on the front 
has a plastic fender up here also. And the headlight wasn't the, like the brightest, but it was very wide, it had a very wide headlight. The shock seemed to work very well. It was like an adjustable on this side. There's nothing on this side, no rebound adjustment at all. It's a lockout, so you can lock it completely out going this way, or just, I usually run it about right there in the middle and it seems to work just fine with me. The wire management looks really good. They have this Velcro closure zip tied off and it goes into the frame, looks very nice and clean. So now moving on up here to the cockpit area, let me go over the display first. This display is absolutely beautiful. Beautiful. Let me turn it on to turn it on. You got a power button there. Hold that down. You get to ban it. Look at that. You're wondering what that is. Remember I said you didn't need a key while ago. There's two ways of doing it. You can cycle through the code right there. So there is an onboard code that you could set to whatever you want. But this little thing is an NFC tag. Check this out. You hold that right over it. Bam, look at that. Look at that display. Look how awesome that display is. I actually have one in my wallet. That way I can just touch my wallet to it. Bike will come on. That's one of the coolest features I've seen ever on, a, on an e-bike. This is Bluetooth, so an app will come out. So possibly you could start it with your phone when you come up around it. And the app features, I don't have that, but I will cover the app in another video. Hold down on this. You see the headlight comes on. Then there's a little walking bike right there. When it's in pedal assist one, hold up on this and then watch. That's to walk this bike. If you're walking up like a hill indicator, it got a percentage. I've always liked a percentage over a bar. So you know exactly the percentage you have. You have your tripometer over here, your total mount, and then you got cycle through. You got trip there, range, and your time on the bike and average speed. So it's got zero through six modes on this. And then I'll cover that in the speed test here in a minute. Ergo grip, hand grips, I love it. They look, they have a little bolt right there that locks them in. So these do not move on you. They are very comfortable locking. It does have a little USB thing, which has something probably for some programming or something. So something coming in the future. I love it when they have a bike that's upgradable with you. This is one of the things that probably let me down the most. It has a bell. They could have easily put a horn and integrated a horn somewhere in. This does come with a bell. I will be getting rid of the bell and buying my own horn and putting a horn on this. The levers are perfect for two finger grabs, one finger grabs. They are in the perfect location, both sides love the brakes on this thing half twist throttle and that works just perfect for holding it where my thumb gets a little tired sometimes when i'm using a throttle all the time this one i can just go like that uh shimano shifter in the front you know easy shifting one through seven pretty standard on these e-bikes works just fine no problem as far as height on this thing what bandit bikes recommends is anyone from five six to six nine i'll throw a chart up on the screen now of all the dimensions on this but that's their dimensions as far as this so it's no small bike so if you're under five six you might want to look at like another bike like the pacer or something like that but yeah that's it everybody on the specs and the kind of components here i think i've covered just about everything for y'all let's switch over to some speed testing now let's put this thing to the test start at zero and work my way all the way up to six and just so you know i do have a gps set up on my phone here so i'll know the exact speed that's on here but in my testing earlier it has been extremely accurate between the speedometer on the bike and the phone setup so let's go ahead and let's do that now now at zero just so you know so there's no throttle and it rides just like a normal fat tire bike and just in gear one rolling pretty easy i'm at nine you can feel that resistance and the weight of the bike between one and five is about where you want to be when it's not got the motor active and i'm a decent mountain biker so it's not that hard for me to hold 16 to 20 on this bike at zero believe it or not pedal assist one we're on level one right now very easy to take off the power's instant on this thing i mean like a half a rotation this is a cadence sensor so a half a rotation it kicks in but it's a very they've done something with this cadence sensor to make it feel perfect at first when i first got this bike i actually thought it might have been a torque sensor it was so smooth on its power delivery I'm at one, you can see pretty much holding nine miles an hour, nine on the speedometer, on the GPS, they're exactly the same. Let's just go ahead and take it to seven because the gears don't mean that much when you've got your 
pedal assist on. It, it's a little harder to pedal, but the motor's taking over a lot of it. And just so you know, it's, it's maxing at 10. So there you go, that's one. And by the way, when it's on one, check it out, the throttle is engaged. So let's say I'm riding at one and I kind of want to get around somebody. I just like give it a little throttle and then I can get around and then go back. Go to pedal assist two. We're holding 12.4 on level two. It seems to hold between 10 and 12 on level two. Level three. Once again, that power jumped. It looked like four miles per hour. Now, the good thing about this, what I find is if I'm in a higher gear, I don't ghost pedal with this at all. I feel like even though I'm in level three, I can go even faster. So it's like, I could start pedaling. Now my motor cut off, it feels like at 15. But if I want, I could speed up like this and pass that pretty easy, which is awesome. <laughs> we got another stop sign coming up. By the way, the brakes are a little squeaky on this thing. All right, it looks like it's holding right at 15 on three. Let's go to four. So now we're in normal mode. So we went from eco mode to normal mode between two and three. Level four is like a higher normal. And I'm usually between normal, I'm on three and four almost 90% of the time. Because look at how this holds. 18 miles an hour is perfect for a bike trail. Just get out here and just kind of like cruise like this. I don't feel anything past 18 going up. This is one of my favorite levels here between three and four. Let's go to five. So now we just hit sport mode. Sport mode will drain your battery faster, but man, is it fun. <laughs> when you're hitting those off, look at that. Automatically, almost 22 miles an hour on level five. All right, now we're gonna hit into level six. So on level six, Almost instantly, even at 22 miles an hour, I felt now the motor is maxed out. You're maxing out that 750 watt motor and it's peaking as much as it can right now. And check that out. That is no, that's not pedaling hard at all. That's almost just kind of like a smooth cadence that I have going on. 27. 28. Hold it very well. This, it'll hold 26 to 28 fairly well and the GPS is backing that up. Extremely smooth on level six. And you can see I'm not pedaling overly hard. All right, we got a stop sign coming up. And watch how quickly I can stop. That's fast. So it doesn't matter if you're in one, two, one through six, it doesn't matter. It's like when you're throttle only, it's gonna go the same no matter what. So let's go ahead, taking off. I'm not pedaling at all. Throttle only, and it's a half twist throttle. It's got the, I mean, it's got the little throttle over here. It got to 15 in a matter of a few feet. I'm right at about 185, 190. And this is pulling me at 20, which is a class three e-bike for throttle only. 28 is class three, and that's holding 19, 20. And the, the GPS is exactly saying that too. Now, obviously throttle only is gonna eat that battery a lot. So you gotta be sparingly with that throttle. I actually don't use it that much. I use it mostly when I'm in turns, cornering, or just kind of like wanting to kind of like get around something real fast when I'm using the bike in level one. And what's funny is you don't have to go full throttle. So we've, we've established that it holds 20 at full throttle. Watch this. If you want to go down. That's half throttle right there. Half throttle is will hold and technically it's so comfortable. I used to use a, um, I used to be a big fan of thumb twist until I started using these like throttle <laughs> twists, these grip twists. I'm liking this a lot because I can rest my hand like that and it's holding it kind of like a, a cruise control. It's just holding it right at 10. 
I don't have to do anything. Was there's the all the components and the speed testing. Be my pros of this bike. What I loved about this bike is number one, the power and range. It is a awesome at hill climbing and it has a very long range on it. They did a very good job of combining power and range on this battery and setup right here. Really good on that. For my riding style, which is a little bit urban, a little bit off-road, I think this bike fits me perfect. The big fat tires absorbs it well and the front shock worked extremely well. This is the high step and I really like this styling on this and the quality. The quality of all the components and all the quality of this thing was very good. It just worked. Stopping power was phenomenal with these hydraulic disc brakes. As far as dislikes, there's actually not really much. I can nitpick and say, you know, the bell, uh, it could use a, a rear shock, but obviously you put a rear shock on it, the price is gonna go up and other than that, I really can't think of anything else that I would actually complain about this bike. Everything worked exactly as advertised. I can tell you right now, I don't usually give prices on my videos because prices fluctuate so much. But what I will give you, type in my code Wade on the link below. You will get that Bandit Bikes is giving you $100 off of any purchase of any bikes. They have a wide variety of bikes on their website. Even if you don't want to buy one, just go look at what a really cool e-bike is. They are only available at dealers and on their their website below these are not available anywhere else online so if you want to pick one up i suggest you use the link below or go find a dealer so yeah that's all i got today everybody on the bandit bikes forerunner let's go riding cabin here there's a bike trail behind me let's get out of here see you guys in the next video Woo!